Hello, I am Aaron Sutherland, and I am a SUSE certified instructor. In this video, I would like to show you the different learning paths we have available on our e-learning site. With more than a dozen learning paths available to meet your educational needs, we have topics such as HA, SAP, SUSE Manager, and more. To get started, we log into the e-learning site and navigate to the content library. Once on the content library page, you select the box for learning paths. The list on the right shows all the different learning paths that are currently available. We can narrow down the list by selecting one of the filters in the topics section. Here, when I select the topic, we can see the number of learning paths available for the topic. Let's take a look at each of the topics to see what the contents of each learning path look like. Here I click on the topic, SUSE Rancher. This shows me that there are three learning paths available. When I click on the title of the learning path, Deploy RKE, we can see a list of the modules that include topics such as Deploying RKE. Now there's quite a bit of content here, so we're going to start one of the videos. Configuring RKE. Getting started with a new cluster. The process of creating a new cluster can begin after the binary is downloaded and installed. After that, RKE config will prompt a series of questions. And after the questions are answered, a configuration file called cluster.yaml will be generated. And the deployment can begin after that by using RKE up. That is just a small portion of the content that's av available in this learning path. Now let's go back and take a look at another learning path. Our next learning path is the Kubernetes Administration 1.2. So I click on the title and we, get it, we are shown a list of all the different modules that are available. We have the Introduction to Containers and Container Orchestration, Kubernetes Administration, Application Management on Kubernetes with Customize, Application Management on Kubernetes with Helm, Ingress Networking with an Ingress Controller in Kubernetes, Storage in Kubernetes, Resource Usage Control in Kubernetes, Role-Based Access Controls in Kubernetes, and our course documentation at the very bottom of the page. Work with an Ingress Controller. So when defining an Ingress Controller, you can use a, a couple of different ways to allow uh, the users to access your applications externally. One of these is by using node ports. Now node ports basically allow you to use a port that's assigned for, to that application on the external interface of all of your worker nodes. Now this port can be randomly assigned, which is the default, or you can go in and specify that if you want to know exactly what port is going to be used for. Again, that is just a small portion of the content that is available with this learning path. Now let's navigate back to our content library and we'll take a look at another learning path. The final learning path that we have here is the SUSE Rancher 2.5 Administration Learning Path. And again, when I click on the title, it shows me a list of all the different modules that are available with this learning path, starting with the course introduction, the introduction to Rancher, Rancher Cluster Manager, Rancher Cluster Explorer, Rancher Logging, monitoring and security scanning, shell access, backup and restore with Rancher, and our course documents. In this section I'm going to talk about the Rancher shell access. 
The cell access could be something that's provided with the SSH command on the cluster nodes, or it could be something that's uh, related to containers. So you can access containers using a cell type of environment. And again, that is just a small sample of the content that is available in this learning path. That does bring us to an end of this video. If you do have any questions or any comments, please feel free to let me know. I do hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.